like one that was bound in the deep. There's something else down there and it's moving. One that was born to the sky. To destroy her. It's the Shilligi. And shall be called from its sleep. Darkness shall fall on the cry. Ultraman has been defeated. Earth is defenseless before its enemies. Lost more than one friend to that monster. Any report on Shindo? Ike? They're not lost. They're missing. This time she's right, Arthur. I'm afraid semantics won't help us or them. The simple fact is we don't have a valuable member of our team. At a time when we need him the most. This thing is holding a steady course, Arthur. It looks pretty mean. This plate holds the key, and Shindo could have the answers. Arthur, we don't have time to wait. As conditions deteriorate, the struggle for survival becomes paramount. Look, Arthur, I don't know any more. They're called Kudar and Shiliki. That's it. There must be more. How can you know something and not know anything at the same time? You tell me. Riddles. These years of plagues are our last chance to get the message. The planet is crying out of pain. Those cries have traveled for the galaxies and brought these monsters to claim their due. We ever get color again? Hey, of course we will. Change. We must renew the world or suffer with it forever. Testing one two. Hello, we're sending on a wake down there. Go ahead, Charlie. Kim, the Shilligi seems to be transmitting a signal. It's a it's a high frequency non visible light beam. It doesn't seem to be causing any damage that I can estimate here. Give me the coordinates, Charlie. Hang on. There's another transmission. It's coming through now. Oh, no. The museum. Working late, Mr. Grant. I'm very close to a breakthrough here. It's not a known language itself, but actually a code based on a version of Sanskrit. A remarkable artifact. 
The final plague the world shall know, the one banished, the one buried, and the one who sleeps below. Good night. with force is a child unfed or a garden unplanted. Yay! We must be judged and we must find peace. We must take back the future from those who have none and condemn us all with their blasphemies. Yay! Yay! The loss of the disc is a minor problem. We have photographs and there's still more information on it. How can that help? Even if we know nothing else, we can assume that those beasts were active before, and whoever left a message on that disc must have survived them. What if they didn't? We are here today. Let us assume that we can survive this plague. What else do you know about them, Shindo? Your recitation allowed us to translate the script. They have a purpose. They're nemesis. But what? Agents of retribution. I'm gonna hate myself for asking this, Jack, but, um, who's? Ours. We don't have time for your riddles or your philosophy. I've directed Miss Our Command to launch a few things at this bird to see how it likes them. You know the risks. A nuclear explosion in the upper atmosphere could be disastrous. Do you think they'd accept an apology? There's no certainties in battle. The main thing is we act. Maybe we've driven ourselves into a court. Then we'll blast our way out. I don't intend to be judged by any two million year old chicken. If we hit them hard enough, we can guarantee human survival. Some of us. It'll be enough. I thought we were in this together. Hey, hey guys, look. Some of us are in it more than others. The apocalypse. Now? Arthur, are you suggesting this is some million year old prophecy? I'll tell you what it is. It's the knock on the head that he took. It's driven him completely around the twist. What else do you know about those things? They're like sharks. They zero in for a kill. There's not a whole lot we can do about it. There's always hope. That's getting to be a precious commodity. They could destroy the Earth, couldn't they? If we try to stop them, we lose. If we let them live, they win. What about our mutual friend? Not even Ultraman's unbeatable. It's a hell of a time to find that out. Feeling we're not alone. There's somebody here according to the infrared. I think I saw something. There are only kids and frightened people. We don't need Uma here. Ike, come back with us. I got work to do. There's hundreds of people who haven't given up. You don't believe this junk, do you? Think about it, Lloyd given the planet a beating in the name of progress. But we don't deserve to go like this. It's sick of us. We need you, and we need a disc. There's no point. Then give back what doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to you either, Lloyd. It's too dangerous. There's nowhere safe anymore. There's a new world here. For how long? Till we make peace. We must become one with the earth we live on. We are drops of water, each one different, individual, unique. But together we are the ocean, and apart we still share the same essence. Wow, the man's mad. Who's to say where we draw the line between sand What do you want to have it? Science doesn't hold all the answers, General. And what you're proposing doesn't make any more sense than he does. I suppose you're going to tell me that studying the gravy stains on some relic will get us out of this mess. Kudara and Shiligi will answer the call. They are here because someone or something called them. You've been underground too long, Grant. You're seeing things. They're nothing but aliens. Kudara 
has always been with us, General. I'm not interested in hocus pocus. How do we kill them? This is what it's after. All right, we'll make an appointment for it. The stratosphere withers under the monster's fiery breath. As Earth's force field weakens, General Brewer orders the only response he knows. Charles, Arthur, you were right. Whatever the general just did, it was wrong. The expert, the bloody obvious, is wasted on something. Prepare to eject. Not without you. I'm ramming it. Then we'll do it together. Break off, Lloyd. Wish us luck, Arthur. Get out of there. Don't do it, Lloyd. He's not going to help break off. That's an order. Very sorry, Arthur. Scan me another way. Arthur, we're losing contact. Get out of there. It's not interested in us anymore. They've gone hunting. Dawn reveals the awful devastation. Armies and emergency services can only try to limit the damage. Out in space, Charles Morgan activates the repair program. Arthur! Arthur, it's useless. I'm shutting down. Those things must be attacking the satellite system. We've no evidence of that. Something's attacking it. I'm getting magnetic pulses, but, but there's no obvious point of origin. The whole system's ready to explode. You could have a fault on board. I've double-checked, but I only get the pulses when I try to activate the force field. The one who sleeps below. Yeah, well, whoever that is, he's not asleep anymore. He's the third monster, Charlie. We 
You're fighting the Earth. Come home, son. Your work up there is over. You, you can't be serious. I'd never been more serious in my life. It's been in front of our noses and we've been missing it. <laughs> the planet's a creature? It's the only answer. To see a world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. You finally flipped, Grant. William Blake saw the possibility 200 years ago. And how do we fight a battle with metaphysics? We don't. We've seen the enemy, and he is us. We can't take it by force. We need some reinforcement. Brew is going to turn this place into rubble. Your time is over, General. I was MIA. Why have you come back? I need your help. You should be shot. I thought you had friends out there. They needed me. But why aren't you helping them? Because we need your kind of help right now. How? With this. What are you going to do with that? Chuck it at the thing? Mike is right, General. Your time is over. We need new answers. And this, I be one of them. Come looking for us. Do you think this will work? We'll soon find out. Too sure. Even when they get out of this.
polluted atmosphere, Ultraman can only retain his gigantic form for three minutes. Time is running out. I think we've made it. When fire and chaos return to stone, then peace will follow to the one alone. Before Earth is called to claim its dues, all must answer, not the few. We've been given another chance, 